All right, everyone. Welcome to part four of editing a wedding film in DaVinci Resolve. My name is Philip Beabout, and I am the host of Wedding Videography for Beginners. And we have been on quite the journey so far. And just a quick recap in parts one, two, and three, we created databases, we organized stuff into bins, we uh, did our multicam edits, we, you know, sifted through the multicam pieces, the toasts, the ceremony, et cetera, pulled out our A roll. Then we went through and we went, did all of our B roll, added in our effects, added in our titles, uh, any light leaks or cross dissolves, that kind of stuff. We, we did all that stuff already. So if you haven't watched parts one, two, and three, I would highly recommend going back through and watching those. Uh, today we are doing the audio. Now, when in part one, I believe it was part one, when we did the toasts and stuff, we actually mastered this audio already. Um, so that, that audio was actually pretty good. We went through and then I showed you guys how to, to EQ out and lower volume. That's, that's what's going on right here. This sounds really good through here. So, but what's missing? So we're going to go, what I just like to do this in a very linear slash traditional fashion and just watch the video. Just beep, 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 Just watch everything and be like, okay, what's going on? What does this need? What aren't we hearing right now? So ask yourself, what am I not hearing? Well, we have music, we have someone talking, but you don't hear anything going on from the party. So that is called Walla. So if you go up here to your sound library, so just like how we were in effects and media pool, it creates this. If you notice this filter by all fields and that kind of stuff, like this doesn't search in everything. Like right now, it's so see, I click this little, uh, filing cabinet and shows me a Fairlight sound library. You can go to DaVinci, you can go to DaVinci, uh, their website and download their sound library. Uh, I don't know. It, it doesn't really have the stuff that I'm looking for. So I got a little crafty and I linked, I believe it's local database. I linked my local database to my final cut library, which has a lot of good stuff. And then, shameless plug for Full Time Filmmaker. Uh, with Full Time Filmmaker, you get access to Adobe's full sound library, which I believe I accidentally linked to this FCM database. So, I had no idea how I have them split apart like that, but that's how that happened. If you wanted to create your own database or add your own stuff in, you just go up here, click Add Library. And then just follow the prompts, just select where it's at, et cetera, et cetera, and just follow everything that it's telling you to do. And then that'll add whatever is in that library. So what I did is like under local database, I have a folder on my hard drive that just says sound library. And as I collect sounds and make sounds and that kind of stuff, I just put it in there. Then every once in a while I go in there and I just go add library and I'll say, oh, do you just want to add the new ones? And yep. And then I just add the new stuff. That's it. So let's look up. Crowd. Oops, I click something. Crowd wallop. And then I want to see, let's see, there's on the boat. Here's a party. So there's a party. One of these. Is it this one? Somebody in the background just says, shit, 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 like five times, which is really annoying, but it's not this one. So I think this actually sounds pretty good because it's not going to be full blast. So if you notice down here, sorry, I just had to make sure I was recording. Uh, we're using audio four. 
So audio line four has got a lot of ambient audio and has all the ambient audio from the clips from our B roll. So for this stuff, we're going to plop it on audio five. And if we need to make more, we will just right click and click add a track and then add a stereo track and then be good with it, which we might need. We might not. So let's see. <laughs> Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the sound library for a minute. Go up here to Mixer. And now you can see your audio mixer. So what I want to do is I'm going to pull this out to where I can see all of the active audio tracks. So we're currently on Audio 5. So I'm going to see how loud this is. So I'm going to hit L. Super loud. So that's coming in at negative 10 dB. It's way too loud. We want to bring that in to like maybe negative 30. Still too loud. So the reason why I do that is because I don't want the ambiance to overpower what's going on in the rest of the film. I just want it to be this like nice, subtle layer, if that makes sense. So nothing crazy. So this party is going, 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 going. So I'm going to leave that, go all the way through here to this point. So I have it start here. We can taper it in, bring a little taper with it. That's so it comes in nice and gradual like everything else. And then we are going to do what is called an L cut. So you see this clip here? You would not hear people chatting in this clip right here. So we're just going to go in a few frames. Nothing crazy. We're going to make an L cut. So I'm going to blade this. I'm going to hit A. Select that. Delete it. And then I'm going to fade this to about the other clip. So that way that audio fades out. So the way that I understand it is that when it comes to audio, it's good to hear the first couple of bits before you make the cut. Like say two people were talking back and forth. It's better to hear my voice start right there and then it cut to me rather than it cutting to me and hearing me at the same exact time. Those are called J cuts and L cuts. So in this case, this is an L cut because it looks like an L. And then we're going to do a J cut next for this piece right here. Because what do you think that we would hear here? And it should be the ocean. So let's look up the ocean. So if you look, whoops, whoops. Just screwing that all up. Let's go back. So if we look, this isn't like a roaring sea right now. It's not crazy. You know, it's not like there's a giant storm or anything. It's actually the water was pretty mellow. So you want to match that. So here's ocean ambiance. But this, you can hear a lot of wind. Definitely don't need the hurricane storms, that kind of stuff. So let's just grab um, ocean ambiance on the shore. And we will bring this in. So same exact concept. This is called a J cut because it looks like a J. And then we will do the same thing on the side. Let's go out a little bit. Blade you and a delete will fade you out, and then under audio six, because I'm wearing headphones and I'm recording and that kind of stuff, like it's hard for me to actually hear it. But hearing it is kind of irrelevant because if as long as you know where it should be hitting, so see, that's already that's already pretty good right there. It's just it's just enough. But 
one thing that you have at the ocean. Seagulls. So let's... Oh. Let's see. This is where having multiple databases starts to get confusing. Nothing in there, but I bet you I got seagulls in here. Oh, am I spelling seagull wrong? Nope, no seagull there. What about her? I know that I have seagull sounds. <laughs> let's see. Let's go back to local... Hmm. Here we go. Bird seagull. See, so this is coming in super loud. And a lot of them. Which is not what we need. We don't need something that drastic. So let's go add track, add a stereo track. Just like that. So we've added a stereo audio track. Let's plop this down there. And then let's find a part. See, you can see this piece through here where the seagulls are just losing their minds in this effect. And that's not what we want. We just want some normal seagulls. So let's back that up. Again, we'll fade this just like we did. And then we're going to bring the audio on this one way down because that's pretty high-pitched. See, let's bring that down a little bit more. Is that they carve pumpkins together. But, and then I thought, wow, this guy really is cool. He's got a great family. He's got respect for So there, it just, it gives it that ocean ambiance, because this is on Cape Cod. You got a little seagull. You get, you know, the seashore. You can hear the waves kind of uh, smacking up against the rocks, etc. And then, boom, you're done. And then we move into this. Now, this has its own audio. Pop with the cheer. So all I'm going to do is just bring this down because he's still talking. And just leave it just like that. So she, they're all yelling cheers, which is still pretty loud. So again, very loud. You can see the levels right there. Let's bring that way down. Let's bring that down a little bit more. Gabriel, your mother and I... Again. So this one's sitting where? Negative 16. So all I'm doing is I'm grabbing this little white line here. And I'm just bringing this down. So let's bring you down. Cause that's pretty loud too. So we could fade these in and out too, just to give it a little separation from the surrounding clips. So she has that little ye there. So she's saying he's talking about her mother, and she's right there. So. If you notice, after I put the A roll down, I've tried to link this stuff up with, you know, me and your mother, and she's looking right at her when he says that. And uh, we're just blessed that we've been able to share all these memorable experiences with you since you were a child, with the pixie short haircut, always having difficulty walking. Seems to be something that we got fixed after about the 11th grade, I think. But now, through these parts, you can see she's sitting by herself. The room's nice and quiet, et cetera, et cetera. I don't want to put in anything, to be honest with you. I think that the, the tone of that music, it's very solemn. And you're just, you're if you notice, you're consistently... Falling into her, falling, 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 and then you're pulling back into this shot. And then you have the audio from this, which we're going to bring down because it's very low. 
blessed to have you as our child. So sing. You don't want to overpower that speaker. Are blessed to have you as our child, and obviously we are blessed to have Kevin as well now as our. Same exact thing here. We'll lower that way down. We are blessed to have Kevin as well now as our son. Okay, so I think that's good. I I don't want to put audio in through here. It just doesn't seem like it would make logical sense unless you were putting in something like room tone. Uh, which with him talking, you don't really need anything like that because you have a room tone in this room with him. However, comma, what do you think we would need here? Well, it should sound like the outdoors. Now, with that being said, I make my own audio files. So let's look up, I think it's called outdoor, is it? Outdoor Folly Spring 1 and 2. So this is actually my backyard. So I recorded this. Which you can't hear. I recorded this with Zoom H6. So I went outside my backyard. And I recorded some spring Beyonce, did I just see the one thing you got to worry about when you're dropping big clips like this is if you just covered up other things. Like if I were to drop it right here on this timeline, it would automatically overwrite all this other stuff, and you don't want that. So let's raise this. So you can see where I was turning this unit on right there. That's what all that stuff is. So let's bring that back. Let's zoom it back in. So command plus to zoom back in. And again, so maybe like right here is when we're going to start it. Fade it in. So there's that. Now we are going to, you're not going to hear birds through here with him. So here is our L cut. You can see the birds sitting at about negative 30. Okay. So we are going to blade that there. I'm going to fade you in a little bit here. And then right here, I move my shoe. So you can actually hear that, like, crunch. Crunch. Moving my shoe. Amateur rookie mistake. So command plus, let's zoom that in. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold option. I'm going to select this, select that, select that, and select that. And then I'm going to keyframe that out, just like so. No shoe. Now, I do actually like the bird noises through here, though. know what that is right there but by and large this all makes sense to me it's all outside so i'm okay with this it's all outdoors so i don't really need to delete that and we will let that ride to about here or turn it off and then I'm going to want to keep that going here in a second. But one thing that I did not do is I did not adjust the audio for this, for the song itself. So I'm going to unlock this track. I'm going to Fairlight. I am going to grab said track. 
And then just like I did with the other thing, so under audio two, I'm going to grab the EQ. I'm going to drag this down to negative five to give it some headroom. And then let's let's go back to the dad talking. That'll be a good reference. Hansen, I want to welcome you to the family with open arms. We love you. So let's just open that up. And um, I know that Nancy and I would like to start seeing some tall grandsons coming around or, or grandchildren in the near future. But something else through here, you would, so you hear the ocean because it's being picked up by his microphone right there. So you hear that and you should hear that. So we need to go over. This was my ambience of the ocean. I'm going to copy, paste, and then I just want to drag this down. Let's close the sound library to give me some more space. So this is already, what the reason why I copy pasted it was because it's already set to the right levels. And what you can do is I can just grab and extend this. Despite the fact that it's cut, it's still the same clip. So I can extend this all the way until it's over, you know, until the clip runs out which all of these have ocean, 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 up until about right here. So we'll just leave it there for right now. So that's all ocean. And then you're probably going to hear birds through here too. Birdie, 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 bird, bird, bird. I don't know if I want to put the seagull in through here because that's kind of overbearing. I'm definitely not putting the seagull in during the... Now, if you've seen one flying in the background, I'd absolutely use it, but... You can see the... You can see the waves rolling through back there, so... Let's see how this sounds. Share all these memorable experiences with you since you were a child... It's a pixie short haircut. Always See how changing the EQ with right that song? I didn't adjust any volume in the song whatsoever. It just cleared out space for the dad's speech. But you are just such a joy, your mother and I uh, just are blessed to have you as our child. And obviously we are blessed to have Kevin as well now as our son-in-law. Kevin, you're Welcome you to the family with open arms. We love you. And um, I know that Nancy and I would like to start seeing some tall grandsons coming around or, or grandchildren in the near future. So we have two oceans rolling right now. See now it fades into this ocean. Okay. Okay, so we got ocean and we've got my outdoor folly right here. So why don't we copy, move our cursor there, hit paste. Bloop. So now we have our birds rolling through, birdie, birdie, birdie. Birds. Let's drop another one right there. So like I said, I think we'll probably let's see birds, birds, probably cut the bird here. Hit A and then let's move it back. 
to here. Fade these in and out. Because you'd hear birds here. Then you'd hear birds here. Birds still be going. Birds, birds, birds. Birds, birds, birds. Birds? No birds. Just like that. So I do. So I'll bring that in. Close that off. Because you wouldn't hear birds through here. You would hear Crowdwalla through here. But what I want to do first is... What was the volume here? So if you just select this, look at audio, volume is negative six, five, five. So let me just copy that. And then I will just simply go over to this clip here, select it, go up to this volume. I guess oh, it would have helped if I would have selected the stuff, all I did was hit copy. So negative six, five, five, just like that. So now this volume is identical to the volume at the beginning. Hmm. Okay, you hear her singing right through there? Cheers, 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 cheers. Uh, let's see. So we can't have that. Can't have that. That's copyrighted music in the background. So you hit option, select that, and we are going to delete that audio. We go back into our sound library. Let's look for cheers. What do we got for cheers? Human male yells cheers and boo. Don't want that. Don't want that. Medium exterior crowd applause. All right, so let's grab that. Big of a file is that? So we're gonna go here. Fade that, fade that, and see how loud that is. Kevin had me in school. So that one's this this one right here is pretty loud too. So let's just cut that down a little bit. But I, I like that cheers. So Kevin had me in school. Perfect. Had me in sports. And you can see how he's like piercing over everything the there. The there we go. Okay, so I have Kevin met Kristen about 10 years ago at UMass. I knew he was all in from day one. The way they interacted, the joy and the fun they had with each other. It's definitely got to come down. I don't... Hmm. I'm taking an ear out of my headphones real quick. Now, when Kevin met Kristen about 10 years ago at UMass, I knew he was all in from day one. The way they interacted, the joy and the fun they had with each other, I knew. Okay, let's bring these down because these clips actually sound really good. Kristen. Now, when Kevin met Kristen about 10 years ago at UMass, I knew he was all in from day one. The way they Just nice, the joy subtle. And the fun they had with each other, I knew from that night it could definitely be serious. Later, kind of grumblings, if that makes sense. Uh oh, so what? What's this? That's outdoors. So if it's outdoors, that will need birds, 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 birds. Let's hit A because I don't know what I've broken here. Why is it doing that? Uh, and then let's do our outdoor folly spring. Let's copy that, and then we're gonna paste it. And then let's slide 
Actually, we would need birds through here too. No real birds at the beach. This would need birds. And we'll cut the birds out there. So let's take a listen. Chris. Now, when Kevin met Kristen about 10 years ago at UMass, I knew he was all in from day one. The way they interacted, the joy and the fun they had with each other, I knew from that night it could definitely be serious. 10 years later, spoiler, prediction came true. And to be honest, I was never competing for a best friend. She is smart. She is fun. Okay. Again, this is too loud. So we'll bring this down and then we'll also maybe taper it in. Oh, it would help if I was at the top. There you go. She's smart. She's fun. She... Let's bring that down some more. Best friend. She's smart. She's fun. She's beautiful. Bring it down a little bit more. Competing for a best friend. She's smart. She's fun. She's beautiful. She makes Kevin a better person in every single way. Kevin, we know that you will always protect Kristen fiercely. Pick her up when she falls, because we know it's going to happen. And love her on Yeah, so that's piercing through really nice. I don't know how well it's coming through on our uh, podcast microphone, but I like the way that that's coming right over top of the music. And that's also one of the reasons why we don't pick music with lyrics, because that gets super distracting. But... They are at the beach here, so we need some beach ambiance. So let's just copy this, and then I'm going to paste it. Don't need any beach there. Where does that beach start? Beach, beach, beach. So right here. So we will just slide that. Slide that in there, and then we will cut you, hit B for blade. What did I just do? So let's command Z. I just hit Z. I don't know what just happened right there. Just drop something. So let's delete that out. We'll do that. And then let's listen. She's smart. She's fun. She's beautiful. She makes Kevin a better person in every single way. Perfect. So again, you hear people clapping and that kind of stuff. So you crowd walla would be going right now. You would hear that like mumble of people. Okay. So let me, I'm going to zoom out all the way. See how there's stuff going all the way across here. You cannot just arbitrarily copy paste something at this point. I mean, I can only because I should have enough room. However, I uh, probably don't to keep going. So let's get back over. We had that stuff covered. We have the beach stuff covered. And then we get into about, let's zoom in a little bit. Put our J cut in. Kevin, we know that you will always protect Kristen fiercely. Pick her up when she falls. Because we know it's going to And love her unconditionally, just as she will do for you. Okay, so I don't know. I'm glad that this just came up. I don't know why this clip, if you see these, how they're flat, 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 why this clip is different. And it's also not in stereo. So if you want to check if it's in stereo, you can right... Oh, wait.
So you want to open in timeline. Yeah, see the toasts are done. So the toasts look just fine here. So this is the board. This is what this is what I edited. Sorry, I just smacked my face up on the microphone. But you want to get to the original clip file, which is inside this. So this is the original toast. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to click on clip attributes. And it does. It shows that it is in stereo embedded channel one embedded channel. Mm -hmm. hmm. But it doesn't sound like it's in stereo here. All right. See, I don't know why, like you can see this waveform is different on these two clips. So we will manually fix that right now. So let's do, let's zoom in a little bit here. You see how these are bigger? Okay, so I, I don't know if maybe she's looking around the room and the mic wasn't picking her up all the way, but we are going to fix that. So let me drop in. So I'm holding uh, option. I'm going to drop in a couple keyframes here. And then I'm going to raise the section because I want it to kind of mimic these ones. Now I may have taken that a little too far in my role as big sister, completely hovering over Kristen for most of her life, making sure she was okay. Okay, see how it drops back down through here? So again, I'm going to option, snag a couple of keyframes. We're going to raise this up too. And this one is matching up kind of with this. I might actually bring that one down, but these two are not. So again, we're going to keyframe, option, click on a couple keyframes. We're going to raise these up manually. I'm going to fade this in because that's going to hit really hard when she starts talking. Okay, so let's do the same thing, only kind of in reverse. We're going to keyframe, 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 keyframe. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Where's this hit? See, so now it's not. It's not hitting that clipping, All right, so we'll fade that out. Whether you're celebrating a special moment in your life or going through a tough transition, Kristen will blow you away. So same thing. We're going to raise this whole section over here. I'm going to bring that up a little bit. Maybe even right here. So just watch the levels. Okay, so these all look fine. So not not really sure what's going on there. Not not sure what what happened with that. So let's uh, zoom out a little bit. But we just manually cleaned that up. It took like two seconds. Just touched it up ourselves. Not doing anything crazy. Just literally just raising the gain in some spots because it's already been cleaned up. So the EQ is still the same. All that stuff. I just I'm not really sure what what was going on. So again, all through here, you should be hearing walla, 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 walla.
which is here. So let's see. Let's how long is this clip? So let's just grab this and just go all the way to the end. Walla walla walla. And then we will copy and paste it. Oops. You paste it over it for some reason, but that should be just fine. That shouldn't be that big a deal. Uh, so there is our walla, and then our walla would stop. Right about here. We'll fade that out. And then we are back to birds. A notion. So let's go back. Here's our ambiance ocean shore. Let's just copy paste. I'll hit command minus a little bit. I'll drag this over to the end. And then let's just grab a small bird one, outdoor folly spring, this one. Let's see if we can just paste it right here. Yep. So one thing, if you're keeping it on the same track, it should copy paste just fine. So we'll bring this one over to, and then let's zoom in. Okay, I'll bring that over there. For our J cuts. So I don't want this audio. I'm going to option select that. Just delete it. I wanted to hear their glass clink. And then we can just, oh, see, this is what happens. Command Z. Hold option. And then we can pull this back and then just fade it out and then let this ambient audio do its thing. We'll do the same thing. We'll just drag these two clips back. So you get that nice seashore. But, you know, that doesn't seem very loud. Is clink a sound impact glass clink? Negative. Okay, I like that. Household glass clink. Let's just option select that. Get rid of you. Let's grab this, pop it down. And then let's let's back this up. So right here is where they make contact. Let's bring that over. Let's zoom it. So you can see the actual clink is right there. So all we got to do, hit our left carrot, and we'll drag that frame by frame. Oops, I'm going to hit M. Uh, just remove that marker. We'll try it beforehand. Okay, so let's take that down a little bit. Take it down a little bit more. Okay, so nice and simple. Too low now. Okay. 
I like that. There you go. And that's it. So what I'm going to do right now is the same exact thing that I, oops, the same exact thing that I said that I did uh, in part three is I am going to export this. Let's just do it. So I'm going to go to deliver tab. I've got my entire project selected. So my in is at the beginning. My out is at the end of the project. It doesn't have any of those extra files, which I should just delete at this point. Uh, and I have in and out range selected. So I'm just going to leave this at custom. I'll leave it as untitled, leave this at, you know, browse. And then I selected my desktop. Uh, we're going to do single clip export QuickTime H264. We're going to change this down to 720 by 486 NTSC. Leave this as automatic. Everything else just leave in place because it's not really, I don't need something super fancy and high speed. Then I'm going to click render. That's it. Now we'll let this render out. Uh, and it looks like it's going to take five minutes and then we'll be able to, um, then I'm going to watch it and then make sure that the audio lines up and it's where I, where I want it. We will be right back. So I exported the file and then I watched said file. I did notice a couple little things that I wanted to tweak. Nothing that was too drastic except for I had completely forgot to adjust the ceremony audio. Just in general term, you see how the toasts, how those waveforms look compared to this. So that's not, not where you want to be. Plus, I need to figure out what happened to her audio right here. So first things first, though, <clears throat> I'm going to right click on this and I am going Actually, you know what? I lied. I am going to. My wife is doing laundry. If you can hear the water rushing all around me because I'm in the basement, I'm going to go open in timeline. Then I am going to go down to that clip, which should be the groom's microphone. So let me just double check. Uh. Ceremony board, huh? Yeah, that makes sense with the ceremony board, but while they are talking through here, the only audio that is being picked up is the law of mic right here. So let's go back over to Ceremony Multicam and let's find the groom's ceremony right here. So see how faint this is? It's because it's in 32-bit blue. So I'm going to go find a media pool. Right-click, find a media pool. There it is. And then I'm going to right-click it and I'm going to say Reveal in Finder. So over on my other screen right now, it just popped up with the folder that the audio was in. And it says Reveal in, or it shows that it's an audio, etc. So let's, let me see, Command S to save this. I am going to... Uh, Why is nothing working all of a sudden? I can't hide that. You know what? Let's just close out of DaVinci. Make life simple. Close out of DaVinci. I'm going to right click that audio clip. I am going to right click that audio clip and then say open with Isotope RX8 audio editor. And then Isotope's going to fire up. So like I was saying on some of the previous clips, this is the entire clip for the groom ceremony right here. I have a module chain that is built. So in RX8, you can create your own module chains. In this case, I obviously have one, which is this. It runs voice knee noise twice. It'll do breath control, deplosive, and then it'll run EQ. Now the EQ that it is running is the Bex EQ. So that's B about exposures EQ. This is just the EQ wave that I use. I use this on pretty much everything. Uh, it boosts up the bass a little bit in people's voice and it brings up some of the higher frequencies. And then I'll do loudness control. 
and then my loudness control is set to the target of uh, that video streaming delivery. That's where you get negative one, negative 16, blah, blah, blah. So this is just a high speed way of kind of doing a compressor. So I built this chain. You can just add things by clicking here. I built this specific chain because this is just what I use for pretty much everything, including this recording that you're listening to. And all I'm going to do is click module chain, click render, and it begins. So it's telling me that, you know, we got three minutes or so for to run voice denoise. Now, mind you, it's running an hour and probably 15 minutes worth of stuff. So I am going to cut back to this as soon as it is done. Let me close that. It's going to click right here and I'm going to hit spacebar. Okay. 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 So here you go. You always go that extra mile. That means more on your plate. All cleaned up, ready to go. You're the person I want to spend all my There's her audio. Meeting at 18. Perfection. So now I'm just going to go over here to file. Save. It's going to back it up. And then it's going to save what I just edited over the original file. So if you're in DaVinci, make sure that you close out of it at this point. We are not, so we're just going to reopen DaVinci. And since DaVinci is already pulling from that original file that was inside of the finder, it will automatically pull all of these changes over. So let's open our project back up. And so if you notice, this says ceremony multicam ceremony board. I think I put that on the board because it was louder and I hadn't edited anything yet. So let's just go right here. Let's advance at a frame. I'm going to click on the ceremony multicam ceremony board piece, right? Let's close this media pool, open up our dual pane, go down here and select multicam. I'm going to select audio only. Then groom ceremony. Now that file that we just edited, that is the groom ceremony audio file, it's populating in here right now. So let's just close out of the dual pane window and See, now the audio is edited and already inserted. So everywhere that there was ceremony multicam at this point. Now I'm sure we'll have our challenges, but I promise to be there for you always. <laughs> to calm you down in those stressful situations that might be caused. Okay. So that's good. So again, uh, you know, I don't know why there's, you got to push it forward a frame to change it. Um, because you can you can right click here and just say uh, switch multicam clip angle, but since we're only doing video with that, it's only going to switch the video. So I do is just push it forward a frame, bring all this stuff back up, make sure that audio only is selected, and then just go groom ceremony. So I have a ceremony clip, this laid over top of that. And there's no audio from this clip. But if you notice when the ceremony angles are playing and I have this clip selected, it's showing me the gimbal clip. And it's not showing me hers. Huh. That's really weird. So let me just, let me try to cut the audio right here. Okay, so let's do something different. So I, I cut the audio here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to finagle this a little bit. I'm going to go option. I'm going to select this clip and I'm going to delete it. And I'm just going to grab this one. And I'm uh, <laughs> So command Z, I'm going to hold option. 
select only this audio. Okay, stop. So option, come on now, option, delete. And then I'm going to hold option, and I'm just going to pull this back. We'll get around it one way or the other. So this is that edited audio now. Okay, all right, that should do it for that. All right, so that does it for the audio. Those are the, the few pieces that I had realized that I had missed. I've went in, chopped all those together and that kind of stuff. And I'm, I'm going to do shift Z. Let's go shift Z, show everything on the timeline. Everything over there looks pretty good. So I'm just going to select all of these clips over here and hit delete. Hit shift Z again, and then now you're looking at our timeline. So this is the completed timeline with the audio finished. Uh, so the audio is done. All of our uh, like ambient audio was done. And in here, here's our music tracks. Here's our A roll. And then you can see all of the uh, B roll and that kind of stuff. So this is ready to be color graded and exported whoop all right well we will see everyone in part five so if you like this make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel uh, make sure that you're listening to our podcast wedding videography for beginners and don't forget that we have a private facebook group also called wedding videography for beginners you can you know post questions and all that kind of stuff more than happy to answer anything for everybody hope everybody's staying safe and we will see you guys in part five all right out